So Apple just released a new depth estimation model for metric depth estimation. The model is called Depth Pro, and we're going to see how we can set it up, how we can use it, but also take a look at the crazy results. Then we can take an image, throw it through the model, and we will get our depth map out, and we will get metric depth values, which means that for every single pixel, we're going to get a value in meters. So then we can combine that with a YOLO 11 model or any object detection model, or even segmentation model and we can take the individual points index that in our depth map and then we will be able to say that this person here is 2.4 2.5 meters away from our camera so this unlocks a whole new bunch of opportunities in the computer vision space tons of different projects applications and so on so just jump straight into the github repo we have this ml dash depth dash pro let's go down and take a look at it we can see some very awesome results here even just by looking at it, the results, they speak for themselves. We see these bird cages, even with the high details, we have really good metric depth. The closer it is to the camera, we have the red color, and then it will become lighter or like more blue, more cold, once it gets further away from the camera. So these are some very good estimates. We can even just see the hair here on the cat and also on the left side. If you just take a look at it, it's going to produce a 2.25 megapixel depth map in around 0.3 seconds if you're just using a standard GPU. So it really depends on your hardware, but you're not going to run this in real time. There's also a ton of other new depth estimation models coming out. This model here only works on a single image. So some of the other new depth estimation models coming out, they're focusing on consistency across multiple frames. So that could be in a video. So this is a very nice model where we can use to get metric depth estimation it's also going to estimate the camera's focal length because you need to do that to get metric depth so all we have to do is basically just run these few commands clone the github repo i've already done that but i'm just going to open up a new terminal so you guys can see how to do it just go up here take the code copy it and we can just git clone like this i've already done it so let's just cd into it ml pro there we go and let's go down and take a look at it now we can just pip install it and then after that we can open up a python script and just import that module there we go and we can also source the pre-trained model so just call this command it's going to source the pre-trained model download them into the checkpoints directory we're good to go we have everything now and now we have two options either just run it directly in the terminal or in the command line or in a python script so this is all we need just a few lines of code, we're good to go and we can combine it with a YOLO 11 model or whatever object detection, segmentation model and so on that you might use. So let's just open up my code editor. I'm going to scroll up here to the top. So I've cloned the GitHub repo. Everything is over here to the left. I just have a couple of examples. They also have an example image if you don't have any on your own, but definitely try it out on your own images. It is very awesome. We also have the depth underscore pro PyTorch model. It's around two gigabytes, so it's a rather large model. These models, they're becoming better and better over time. So they're definitely going to be able to run way faster in the future, get better, get more efficient and so on. So in the end, in six, 12 months, we might be able to run these models in real time. It just unlocks so many opportunities, no expensive depth cameras, stereo revision cameras, lighters and so on. We get very good metric depth values as we're going to see at the end. So this is everything that we need. We import the different dependencies that we need. So Depth Pro, import Depth Pro. This is just the one that we pip installed. PLL, CV2, NumPy, and Ultralytics for our YOLO models. Then we create an instance of our YOLO model, the new YOLO 11 model, and we take the small version of it. That's pretty much it. Once we run it, it's going to download automatically. We're using a pre-trained model now, but we also have custom trained models. We have tons of videos covering that, even also courses covering that how we can set up like full computer vision pipelines. If you're interested in getting into projects, freelance work and so on, I also have the AI Career program. Everything is available on, on my website, down in the description and so on. It's basically just my whole system that I'm teaching and we have all the weekly calls, we have the whole community, people helping each other out and so on, doing freelance work. So it's just one big agency essentially. I'm going to build that over time. So we have the image path, we just have a bunch of images that we're going to run it through. We read in the image with OpenCV, Throw it through our YOLO model. You're familiar with that. We have our results. This is how we can loop through the results that we get from our YOLO models. We can extract the bounding boxes and also the classes. So we're only interested in the person in this example, but we can just call results.boxes.xyxy. That will be the top left corner and the bottom right corner. Convert to CPU if you're using a GPU and also to 
numpy. Then we can just zip our boxes and classes so they will be together. And we're only interested in storing all the classes, all the predictions that contain the class person. So we're just going to find the distances to people walking around in the frame. And right now I'm just going to take the center of the bounding boxes, but you can also have a whole segmentation mass that you just index in the depth map. So this is pretty much it. We're just appending all the values to our person boxes. We draw it and we just visualize our results. So once we've done that, we just take the code snippet from the GitHub repo, depth pro, create model and transform. So this is how we can do both the transformation, so the image pre-processing and also run the model. We run the evaluation mode, so if we have less RAM, it will also run faster and so on. We can load in an RGB image from the image path, so depth pro dot load RGB, specify the image path, and we do the image pre-processing with our transform. So that's pretty much everything that we need to do. Then we can run our inference on top of it. So depth underscore model dot infer. We have our depth underscore input. So that will be our pre-processed image, but we also need to have this estimated focal length in pixels. We have tons of videos covering what that is. Everything in computer vision, all the camera parameters, intrinsic, extrinsic, camera calibration, all of that. So we cover all that in pretty much a ton of videos here on the channel. Then we get a prediction out and we can just extract our depth map directly from our prediction and that will be in meters. We squeeze it, so we just get rid of the badges. CPU, NumPy as well, as we did with our YOLO predictions. So now the idea is to take our Persian bounding boxes, calculate the center of it. We can take the center. So that's basically just one value in our image. So that will just be a coordinate system. We take that value, index it in our depth map, and we'll get one single value because our depth map is just a one channel image. And that will just contain one value, floating point value that will correspond to our meters. So that's the metric depth value that we extract from our bounding boxes. Then we just do some setup here for visualization. So the depth with the depth value, we set up font, text sizes, and also just the position of our text and our bounding boxes. We use the rectangle, put text, that's pretty much everything that we need to do. We visualize the results. Every time we have done a step, we just visualize the results until we hit a key on our keyboard. We write out the result as well, and then we normalize our depth map so we can apply this color map on top of it so we get the red and blue colors. Then we can also invert it here. So we basically just have the red colors in the foreground and also the blue colors or the colder colors in the background. That's pretty much it. We're good to go. We can open up a new terminal and just run the program. I'm going to activate my Conda environment. There we go. And we can just run this Python script. Python depth underscore test dot pi. First of all, it's going to download the model the first time you run it. Then it's going to do the predictions and visualize the results. There we go. Now we have these persons detected in our frame. They're just walking around. Now we can take the image, throw it through the depth pro model. We'll get the depth map out. And then we can do these extractions and indexes directly into it and take a look at the results. So this is the output that we're going to get from this depth pro model. We can just take a look at the results on the left side. They are very, very crazy. This can be used in a ton of different applications and projects like drone, drones, robotics, like navigation systems, optical avoidance and so on. We can just run an optic detection model, get the depth to it, and we can navigate based around that. But we can also take individual objects and calculate the distance in between, which is really hard to do or pretty much impossible if we don't have any depth information and only have the predictions in 2D space. Of course, we can base it depending on the size of the bounding box and so on, but that's not really accurate. Take a look at the results. So right now we have the closest person to the image, which is the lady here on the right. So 2.48 meters, 248 centimeters away from the camera. Looks pretty accurate in my opinion here. And this model here is also very accurate if you read through the paper and so on, and also test out a bunch of different use cases. But even just the depth map here on the left side, it looks very accurate. And we can just see the level of details and also the gradient once we go from the front to the back of the image. But even though we have a person here walking in the middle, pretty much like the whole body is the, at the exact same depth values and it's only in between. We can even see the fingers in the hand here if I just zoom in a bit. So we can see around here, we can just see the fingers and the details of this depth map is just very crazy. So let's take a look at some of the other ones. We have a guy here walking in the middle. So he is the third guy and we have the, the kid here on the left side. So it looks very accurate. 
like he's probably like 30 centimeters in front of the woman which is also very accurate they walk just right beside each other but again the ch child here is probably walking in between the, the woman and the male here so that's also pretty much in line this is just crazy like i could imagine we'll be able to do this with just a single camera if you're just talking about like a couple of months or like a couple of years ago and this just unlocks a whole bunch of opportunities in the computer vision world so definitely going to test this model here out you saw how easy it is to run everything will be on my github down in the description you can find the courses ai career program if you want to get into freelance work or learn how to land ai machine learning jobs and so on and help with all of that test out the model here I'm going to do a bunch of videos in the future, try to run it on my NVIDIA GPU as well, to see how fast can we get this model up and running, maybe do some optimizations, create some projects around it. We have the other models like Midas and so on, like these new models here are just crashing that. But we also have some other models, which is pretty good for having consistency across frames. So if we are working with videos and so on, this model here might not be the best one yet, but of course they're going to do updates, optimizations and so on. So at the end of the day, we will have real-time single camera metric depth estimation that we can use for all our computer vision projects and applications so really looking forward to that hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos until then happy predicting